the SWAT meet at 5.30 a.m. with Ricky. We already see Curtis and it's time to start hunting right away. All right, it is first thing in the morning. And right here, I'm looking at all this. There's a game gear, but no back. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> game gear, no back, and this. And then it's got Sonic Blast in it right there. But then also Genesis Model 2, Switch Dock, PlayStation Slim. The thing I like the most is not the most expensive thing, but this Wicked the Ewok Return of the Jedi Star Wars sealed puzzle. So old school, cool. So we'll see how it goes from here. <gasps> Dusty's here. Almost all right, I just bought them all. Paid a hundred bucks <laughs> for Model 2. Uh, where'd the cable go? I thought I had a cable. Oh, here's a cable. Yes, cable. Game Gear doesn't have the back. I don't know if it works, but you know how Game Gears go, my friends. Those are always the luck of the draw. So as I dive into this swap meet, I'm talking the second I walk in, I'm greeted with Game Gear stuff and Sega Genesis stuff. Whoever had this lot was obviously a Sega collector. There's Sonic Blast inside the Game Gear. Now, Game Gears are not always the best thing to buy because you never know if they're gonna work, even with batteries in there. So, mine's untested, but I start looking through, I start diving in, am I gonna buy this, am I gonna buy this? I decide, yes, I'm buying this lot, along with the PlayStation Slim that Ricky passed on to me. So thank you, Ricky, behind the camera. And uh, picked up the whole lot for 100 bucks. Greatest deal ever? No. Worst deal ever? No. Dusty today, though, said he has something good for us. The guys that found the Harvey Weinstein like stuff. <laughs> it's the Harvey Weinstein collectors. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's all you are to me. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you looking at, Ricky? I need some Atari games. Actually, there's something that I've never even seen before, but you know, we're only looking for those specific ones. Like Kaboom. Duke Kaboom. Uh, yeah. Ricky. From Pac Man, Pac Man, Pac Man. Phoenix Resale. This game is literally called Phoenix. And uh, the coolest thing, again, I don't necessarily, like I said, need random Atari games. This is cool to me. Robot 7. I love stuff like this. Reminds me of Frank Fritz. Hopefully he's doing well. I heard he's not in the best of health. But I heard they, Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz got, talked again and they were like homies again and they were crying and talking. So hopefully they're doing well. Strolling, 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 walking around and I come to a booth that we don't go to very often. I come to a booth and I see consoles at the edge of the tables. The first thing I see is like an Intellivision. I see some PlayStation stuff, some long box stuff. Super cool. Oh, hello. Look at that. There we go. Sega Genesis and television. There we go. Nice color to this one too, actually. Oh, and a long box game? There we go. Game day and television too. I will grab this. Were you on the Genesis? I don't want to take it from no, you. No, no, no. You sure? No, okay, I, cool. I've got the <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, story of our lives. Too many. I like it. Okay. These old LA County Fair hats are actually really cool. There's a couple of them right here with the red brim and the black brim. I like the black one better. I grab this. Needs a good, uh, good cleaning. Who is this? Who's the red hot tamale? I, I kind of like it. He's far too good to look. Let me see. Looking at fighters. Sorry, I couldn't hear you there with my noise canceling headphones. I have to jump in. Company called Between Three and C sent me these headphones, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. Am I gonna like them? My goodness gracious! The second I put these in, I hollered to my son and said, put these on. I, I have the competitors, okay? I'm not gonna name names, but I have the competitors. You know the competitors, you know their names. It's the, the people to compete against. These are better in every way. First thing I noticed, they actually stay in. They're hardcore noise canceling. I've had the air, oh, I shouldn't have said that. The air jods before. All these different ones that say they're noise canceling or stay in, they fall out when you go run. Some of the big notes are the triple driver performance. Now with active noise canceling, transparency mode, wireless charging, and more. Also, there's about eight and a half hours of continuous audio playback with ANC on. 12 hours of playback with ANC off. Ultra wide frequency response with stunning clarity. Again, as a guy who's always out running and always editing, this is what I do. And I have to admit, I've been sent earbuds before. I'm being 100% transparent with you guys. And let me just say, I've turned down talking about them because I wasn't stoked. And if you're looking for a coupon code, check down in the description below. I have one for you. They sent me one and I was like, thank you. They didn't have to do this. They sent me these. They didn't ask for anything. They didn't even give me a script. That's what I like to hear. That's when you know they have faith in their product. Oh, let's see. Okay. Dude, I love oh. King of Fighters. Let's go. And Audible. Some fun games right there, Ricky. Let's see how much you want though. Let's see. Wish this wasn't so scuzzed up, but a Mighty Ducks. 
right here, vintage. I wish this, it's like a hard material where I can't just throw it in the washer. So that's why I wouldn't want to pick it up. But otherwise, this is rad. And then I happen to see a Genesis. And I grabbed the Genesis and I'm like, okay, sweet. I already got a Genesis Model 2 earlier. Genesis loose, no cables. But then when I'm walking around out of nowhere on the edge of, the, of another table, there's the cords. There's the cords for it. But on top of it, on top of it, there's a PlayStation CIB with all the stuff. Well, not CIB with box, but with the PlayStation bag looking good, looking clean, looking nice, looking like it's for me. So I'm like looking around for the cables and randomly I walk up to the cable and look. The cables were just sitting here away from the Genesis. But they even cooler. Check this out, Ricky. It's the whole PlayStation bag bundle. And so look, it's got it in there along with the controllers. It's got it all. Got the little PlayStation, the, the hit on the arm. So pretty cool. This was all just kind of in there. But I, I, I love that those, oops, sorry, that the cables just like showed up when I was looking for them. I was like, yeah, I'll never find him. Look at it. Gunfighter? Tomb Raider? Shimonino. All right, I decided to go for the console bundle. So the, the NES has seen some better yank and stank, but all of this uh, with this, with the PlayStation stuff and the Genesis stuff. So that's a lot of stuff. Look at this. Console City this morning. Game Gear, Genesis Model 2, Genesis Model 1, PlayStation, any. Oh my gosh. You're gonna collect the old The NES Pursuit is now the console crushers. <laughs> hey, got that one on the spot. As I start poking around and getting excited about it, I look over and there's an NES just sitting there. NES just sitting under the table with the cables, with controllers, and even a couple games. I decide to ask how much and I end up getting everything, everything for 150 bucks. That's 50 bucks a console with all the cables. That's a good deal. Some would say it's so sexy, it would be as sexy as Dusty. That's right, brother. What are you looking at, Ricky? You gonna get it? Yeah, I'm gonna ask. What are you buying? The one I really want is King of Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Fighters. it's cool right. too. The, the disc is like really good. Heck yeah, baby. So, let's see if I can. He wants 25, I wanna see if I can get it for 20. What a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, now that you're buying them, though, Ricky, I present you with the Certificate of Ownership. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 That's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> What's this? Dude, I also got this. It's a laser disc Godzilla. I couldn't say no. They said five bucks. I was like, ooh, I'll take it. What? Check it out. Did you open it up? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clean. I don't even think they pulled it out. It's, yeah, it's clean, weenie. I was Godzilla. <laughs> I was like, dang, what is this little thing? Uh, this is all I saw. That's all I saw. I was like, oh, Godzilla. Oh no, Godzilla. You mean Godzilla? <laughs> Where's Tony? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Ricky. What'd you get? I'm a looking and I'm kind of liking. Look at, kind of like. Sealed VHS is ready. Oh, all sealed. The creepiest capers, Scooby Doo Volume 1, and Looney Tunes back in action. Oh, that's just so cheesy to me, that right there. I've seen it a hundred times with that. I've never realized how much that actually bothers me. And then we got Curtis over here, Mr. Limp. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> Look at this, ready? Bet you weren't thinking you're going to see this guy today. Vintage oh, tricks. tricks. That's actually cool. What year is this from? This is Funko. Oh, 2002. It's not as old as I would have thought. But I mean, that's still old nowadays. That's like 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 22 years old. Look, look, look. Oh, oh. Here, Curtis, look. Oh. Ooh. Bunch of Batman stuff right in there just waiting for us to dig. I'm not gonna dig that. Really? I'm gonna dig. Ricky, what are you looking at? Alright, so I got some Nickelodeon, but I really got these Porygon and this Bulbasaur. Yeah. Shit! Yeah, Is this the old McDonald's? Burger King? Burger King. These yeah. are the old school Burger King toys. Yeah. Dusty says he remembers this from fifth grade. That's actually cool. Yeah, no, I had everything in it, bro. It's the same. I remember this. Dude, that's cool. I bought it for myself so I could get a free Tootsie Roll. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Remember the little booklet they used to give you? You could win some stuff. <laughs> I bought it for myself so I could get something for free. Brother. I think it's cool, man. I think Aaron's going to put it in his pile. I might, just because it's complete. What year did you have this, you think? Ooh, it would be like 90s, late 90s, I'd oh, say. Okay, okay. Probably. I'll hold on to it. That was like when Star Wars, when they were first re releasing the VHS sets, I think, and stuff around that time. When they're starting to re-release it, like mid to late 90s. Is that a gift? Yeah, here you go, man. Let's yeah, I've never go. too many of them. <laughs> Let's, hey, thank you, bro. For sure, man. Here you thank go. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Right on. I had specific requests. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so Dusty know. said he specifically brought something to the swap meet to Ooh. sell to us. What could it be? Some sort of... This gentleman dropped these off last week. When you guys what? left, you left too early. Oh, whoa. Someone made this for us last week? Yeah, that's why I called Dude. you. Remember I called you? No, oh, check it out, check it out, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You wanna know the best part? What, okay, show me. Wait, he made you a message too. PGS, thanks for all the videos I watch when I'm making pogs? Dude, 
Yo, look at, look at these! <laughs> look how sick they are, dude. That's sick. They're all custom to all our different artwork. Oh my, no. yo! <laughs> <laughs> For my son. Wait, oh, my oh my god. god. Oh, there's Robert! Yeah! Yo! Let's go! What's up, bro? Oh, oh my dude. gosh! They didn't forgive me. <laughs> that is actually so cool. This is gonna be like the Charizard oh, of the dude, set. Way too Look cool. at these! That <laughs> yes. is so episode one. Ricky just doing something right there. Rippy Skippy. Right? Oh, that's a recent episode right there. Chris, oh my gosh. Dude. Curtis! <laughs> Curtis made the cut! He made the cut! Mikey! Oh my gosh, Gabo. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. So this cool. might be one of the coolest gifts. It's actually better, bro. I've ever seen. He made them for everybody. No, no way. way! Let's go! Dude. Oh my this gosh. This special for you, he said, though. This one, okay. Yeah, that was, I think that's like the set, but I think this one had extras or something. Oh my. Man. Gabriel, if you're watching, high five. To you. That is you, awesome. If you need more pugs, he left his information. You can order them. That's amazing. <laughs> That's unreal. Ricky, huh? I found your favorite Scooby Doo. Which one? Check it out, man. Oh, God, it's a Scooby Doo Monsters of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it. What's, wait, what was the cover on this? It's nothing. See? Oh, Chris! Chris! Got him, got him, need him, got him, need him, got him, got him, need him, got him, got him, need him. What's that from? Your mom. Dang. This is cool to me. <laughs> you got me. The rock bobblehead. How cool is that? <laughs> Yo, let me see. Yo, I need that in my car. I think there's a bunch of pretty sick. cards somewhere in one of these boxes I saw. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's really cool. Ooh, dude, look at him. He is a little a helmet. Awesome, that's just cool. Oh. I think it's a little bit busted. Come out. Oh. Uh, I give up. <laughs> All right, Dusty. How much? Three VHS. Your childhood. I only did this because you sold me on it. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's it. I had to sell. I had to buy 50 of them to get a, a Twix bar. What's my price, bro? 25 US dollars. Pure garbage. Plus tip. Sure, whatever. I don't even look at what I'm buying anymore with you. I'm just like, whatever. Oh, wow. Well. Got to keep the, the content rolling. Oh, yeah. Here's yeah. 20 and five. Right. Dang, dude. <laughs> it would get cheap on five bucks. <laughs> Where are we going? We're gonna go to the parking lot to Boogie's car to try to get some stuff. He texted me earlier and he's like, I got this stuff, you guys want it? I'm like, yeah, we'll take anything Did pretty you get much. The text where he said I get first dibs on everything? No, he said Ricky gets first dibs. All right, so we went to Boogie's car. He had Wii games, GameCube games, PS2 games. He had, let's just say he had a ton of games. We just bought, we bought them all because, you know, it was a deal, a steal. We needed it. All right, Ricky, what is, is it? Is it going right. go? Yep, yep. We got us some games. Wii games? Oh, I get these ones. Oh, that's the one I asked for. Some GameCube games. I'm gonna show them how you show off games. Let me see. Let me see. Show, show me. They want to see what you got. Oh, Nifa, Godzilla, Crash, yeah. Tarzan. Oh, I Shred like it too. See, Ricky. Look, yeah, Sonic Heroes, Going Quackers, Going Quackers. Shark Tail. Check it out, Ben. Ready? Go ahead. Show go ahead. Them Let's the whole do it fast, lot. Do it fast. There's Ooh. the whole lot right here. Dang. Oh gosh, I almost dropped it. Your Wii Wii U showing. Nintendo Land. Wow. One of the greatest. Two of them of all times. And Pokemon Tournament. So, Ricky, just ask him how much for everything, bro. Hurry up. All right, how much for the lock? I forgot how much I asked for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to look at the text. <laughs> I think it was one... 160? 160? 160. This is a Ricky deal. This is Ricky. Ricky hooked it. I was just, I didn't really hook this up. This was a Ricky deal. So I was just here as a bite stand. He's doing it. 160. Let me show you, Ben, some of the good ones. Oh, here's one of the good ones right here. Such a fun game. One of our child. Childhood, teenagehood games. This is one of our teenagehood games, Ricky and I. Dude, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. And thank you to Ricky for gifting me four of these for no reason, he said. <laughs> Which ones did I gift you? Uh, whichever ones we said were the highest on price chart. Oh, I think those were the... Look what's in here. NCAA. That's a game. We're not in the car. Ricky's getting the games. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to actually steal these from Ricky. This was his deal that he worked out with Boogie. So Ricky gets them all. I think he paid 160 bucks for all the games, which is, a, I think, a good deal. I didn't have time to sit there and add them up. But uh, Ricky did pretty good. Not too bad for a uh, rookie Ricky. What's up? What'd you wow. call those? Um, Legos? That? Amiibos? <laughs> Look, the Wii Man is natural habitat. <laughs> He's like, you guys aren't taking this I'm card? Embarrassed. I'm like, you're fast enough on Wii Points card? Uh, what are you guys, crazy? Wow. 
Ricky and I go to this booth with disc-based stuff, and we never check disc stuff. Well, no. I, actually, we uh, don't know disc stuff. Yeah, we're not we're not wise with it. But I start looking, and I see Transformers Devastation, and I'm like, oh shoot, I know this is a good game. Not only a great, fantastic game, beautiful art style, but a valuable game. So I keep looking, and I'm like, all right. And the guy's like, dude, I'm gonna charge you like three bucks each, if that. And I was like, oh shoot, I better keep digging. So I grab like a bunch of Wii U games, Wii games, uh, some random stuff, and I'm just super stoked because I paid 20 bucks for everything. I'm stoked. But then Ricky goes, dude, I go and I just, I'm, I'm watching the whole thing come come alive. I'm like, three bucks a game. I literally dropped the toys I had. I was like, time to put you get some games. Yeah. Games, games, games. Oh, now, are you one selling? Uh, yeah, I resell. Is this all yours? No, 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 I'm not selling. I, I resell. Oh, nice, dude. That's awesome. Well, I just started subscribing you guys. So I was in the same booth as Riff. He actually got a really good deal. He got, he made me want to get this because he got such a good deal. Got Handsome Collection, Borderland, uh, Lego Jurassic Park. This I think this is kind of a banger. Cars 3, Driven to, to Win. Another Lego Avengers. Marvel Lego. The, the, the Dimensions Lego. Batman 3 Lego. And same game, but for 360. Lego Dimensions. Lego, Lego Lot. Ben. Lego Dementia. <laughs> Dude, I picked up a ton of Lego games. I don't know why, I, was, I saw them all, I was like, three bucks each, I'm gonna pick them all up. But I also picked up this Cars game that I really wanted. And it was, I think, and it was, I think a goodie too. It was a, it was a goodie. Right after Ricky goes, I'm like, all right, I'm already stoked. I'm looking at other games. I see this whole game that I grabbed because I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. I'm like, oh shoot, that was a 20, $25 game as well. Yeah. And then I see a game that I'm like, this is probably nothing, but I notice a seal. I notice a seal and it was like Dance Dance Revolution X2, like for the eye toy on PlayStation 2. Yeah, who'd have thought? And I'm like, this is cool. And as I'm walking away, Ben's like, I'm gonna look that up. Ben likes to look up that kind of stuff. He looks it up. It's over a hundred dollar game. Curtis, how's that look? arm treating you, man? <laughs> Fantastic. What'd you do? Hey, I just had some good finds today. That's all that matters. Oh, right. you did get stuff. N64? Yeah. 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 Well, uh, that's like his third one. What? What else? Well, PS2 Slim, and then there's a Scarface inside. I can't really do anything with it. A little God of War. A little, this is a cleanie, you know? The GameCube that's pretty clean. How are the prices too? Good? Yeah, pretty good. I got it for all 80 bucks. So. Let's go, nice. babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Curtis, you can't do much. <laughs> Just, yeah! Curtis, high five! <laughs> that one. Other hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that? Did you get a Rick D's signature? Like down here, if you know who Rick D's is. <laughs> Rick D's? Oh no, you're good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. You just verbally called us over. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Word, Word up. up. Yo, I'm Joe Montana. Gangsta. Wow. Dude. Wow, superstars. Kirk. Kirk. Look at this thing. Oh. Look at this. Coleco Play and Learn Electronic Learning Machine. Dude. By Coleco. That's so cool. No, just this is a Coleco. So interesting, I've never seen this before. Dude, they even did learning stuff. That's awesome. Spelling, math, cool. science, songs. It doesn't, I'm surprised it doesn't say anything about games. I feel like that's normally the selling that, point. That is like, a selling point, but I think it's, it was like, it's like for the parents, like, oh, you should get this. It probably is games, but they were like going for the parents. You know? I mean, that's technically what Nintendo did. They called it the Nintendo Entertainment System to sway away from games. Watch out, bro. Chad Musk goes behind you with the boombox. Oh, dude. Boom, chicky boom. You can all it. I walk into a vendor booth, and this might be the craziest experience I've had in a while going to a vendor booth. I walk in, and I immediately see a bunch of like paperwork and stuff that looks like it's gonna be from LA. I don't know if we've said it before, but we're in Orange County, California. LA is a ways away. But all these people go in and they buy storage lockers. And a lot of times these storage lockers come from LA Hollywood stuff. And I noticed stigmata. Stigmata artwork, Stigmata scripts, Stigmata uh, budget reports, Stigmata promo kits. And this is a movie from the 1990s. I think uh, Patricia Arquette was in it. Sci-fi horror right up my alley. I'm super stoked. And I'm like, okay, here we go. I start looking at that. Guys, I'm finding, I'm finding a ton of movie production stuff right now. I'm trying to keep it on the down low. I see more and more things. I see one from a movie called Dark Romances, Dark Romances 2, another horror with like promo stuff in it, promo artwork. I'm flipping my lid. This stuff is, when we say rare, like video games, like there's rare video games, and then there's this kind of stuff where that's it. There's stuff from the SAG Awards from the 90s, hiring actors, uh, people that were in Rob Zombie movies, all different things like that. It's gonna be hard to, to show you guys everything I got, so I mean. This is basically like all account information from like Hollywood movies, which is crazy. Like this is really cool stuff. 
Um, okay, so one of my favorite things is I basically got everything for Stigmata, the 1999 movie with Patricia Arquette. It's a horror sci-fi. Look at this. All this is from Stigmata. The budget, the original screenplay, more screenplay, more paperwork on all of it. And then I start looking through floppy disks and I see Doom 2, all the floppy disks, awesome game, worth some value. And then I find a miracle piano teaching system, floppy disk, which to right now, all of us boys, including other people, we cannot find the actual floppy disk that I found. I, we cannot find it anywhere. Nowhere on the internet, not for sale, not a picture, not nothing. So, uh, miracle, all the doom disks right there. These are, uh, yes sir, Astro Boy mail-ins, we love our paper. Some old SAG information from the 90s. This is interesting, some paperwork from the agencies for it. Dark romances, look at this. This is one of my favorite ones. Production office for dark romances. Look at this artwork too in there. Look at that. Oh, I need to find the VHS. Look at about the movie, a full length horror right there. Log of events, story of facts, all this stuff. Um, I got 90s bags. I got the Academy Awards. So this is the one that's most interesting to me. I don't know what this is. Me neither, that's why. I know, I wonder if this is like, because this is all from like a production company, if this was like before they changed the name to Space Balls, because it looks on brand. Yep. So this is one of those places where when we found this stuff, this is the kind of stuff we want to find because this is the rare of rare. I don't know how to tell people, people get mad about the game stuff. They say, oh, well, little Samson in the games. And I say, this stuff, far more rare, one of a kind, one made, that's it. We have baseball, blades of steel, fast break, bases loaded, skater knife, base wars, MLB hoops. Okay, so no bangers, but fun time. I mean, right here. Actually, these three games, funny enough, World Cup, base wars, and skater die are some of my three favorite games out there. Awesome. But Curtis told me that he already saw this and the price was not right. Just picked this up, but what's cool about it, it's Club Nintendo. So, Club Nintendo back in the day was sick, man. I think it's gone now. I think it's resting in peace now, but super cool. Got all the goons on it, and uh, my gosh, I bought too much stuff today. Sweet lord. Snagged this Hard Rock Cafe, but the best thing about it is the fade. I'm all about the good. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. It's almost the same thing. Super good fade, a little big. It says LXL, but it's definitely more on the XL side. But super sick. Dude, my lion tattoo is going to look sick coming through. Ooh, this by Splash Mountain Toy. Splash Mountain no longer exists, so we had to pick it up. I, I put it down. Riff's like, you better pick that up. He looked it up, and then most of them are selling for like, like 80 to 100 like 80 bucks. To 100 bucks. I don't know if that one, but we, everything <laughs> from Splash Mountain is actually seems like it's worth a lot of yeah. money from plushies. I mean, even if it's worth like 10 bucks, I paid two bucks for it. I don't. Is it, Worst it, case, you keep it because it's cool. It is pretty cool. By the way, you're a reseller, Ricky. There's some people in the comments who are like, look, you guys are resellers, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how I pay for all the other stuff. All right, Ricky, say bye. Bye, guys. Today was awesome. It was really great, and I'm so happy for you guys. Wait for you guys. Why? Because they're gonna watch our idiot faces. <laughs> well, actually, Riff scored big time. I did score. He a did lot score pretty good. I was I, like back to back. I was just like, what the, what the heck? <laughs> We're in the same spot, and he just kept pulling, pulling more stuff out. I was like, all right. <laughs> do you love Nintendo? I do. For my sins. <laughs>